Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video is brought to you by newqbo.com. So here's our website, newqbo.com. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how do I process a deposit uh, from a customer for future deliveries. You know, you bid on job, you got this job, and uh, uh, you're asking for uh, some deposit uh, before the job can be done, or this also uh, going to apply to uh, retainer fee type. So let's get started. So for this video, I'm going to use uh, uh, QuickBooks Online test drive file. So we have test drive link here uh, to QuickBooks Online test demo file. So you can click this test drive uh, or the other one here, test drive QBO. So it will take the same place on you know in our website. So it's test drive. And for this video, I'm going to use QuickBooks Online USA. So if you are from uh, uh, Canada, UK, Australia, India, and Singapore, uh, you can also uh, check out the demo file. You can test demo file anytime you want. And if you need to sign up for QuickBooks 30-day trial, so we have USA banner link here. It goes to QuickBooks Online. Uh, same thing with Canada and also UK so I'm just gonna click, click uh, this USA thing right here that you see a demo file and then they will ask for uh, uh, some security number this will change every time you log in okay here we go I'm on QuickBooks online demo file so the first thing I want to do is I want to create uh, uh, one new account in the chart of accounts. Click new, and the uh, category type you want to select is other current liabilities. This is the one I want to create for customer deposits. Or a uh, retainer fee works the same way. Alright, so leave this balance blank. Don't put anything in there. Seven close. So now I have a, a customer deposit account. Customer deposit as uh, other current liabilities type. All right. Okay, I'm going to go to uh, product and services now. Upper uh, upper right corner gear and select the product and services from the list. I'm going to create a new uh, service type item. So I'm just going to call this deposit. Deposit. And in here, I'm just going to copy and paste. This is the one that goes to your uh, invoice. And the service, you don't need any price rate or anything. Uh, so income account, you want to select is that deposit one customer deposit one customer deposit other current liabilities and make sure to uncheck this taxable box uncheck this one save and close okay so now you have a deposit item in your product and services list like this right okay so now uh, I'm gonna invoice let's say for this uh, example I'm gonna invoice two hundred dollars and let's say this is a twenty percent deposit You're asking for the job is one thousand so I'm just gonna select one uh, uh, customer here this is Duke basketball camp and in here you select deposit right which is this and the amount is two hundred dollars and in here if you want you can uh, give some description you know like uh, job is for uh, uh, one thousand and deposit is is 200 and let's say uh, final billing is uh, is $800 so this is the one it goes to uh, invoice alright so something like this and you can preview it you will see something like this like this so you can customize the way you want it so two hundred dollars. I'm just gonna save this. 
okay and let's say uh, uh, you send out this invoice and you, you got the uh, payment receive payment right okay let's say you got the receive payment on 8-3 let's say next day okay so check number let's say 456 and you're just going to deposit directly to your bank account save and close okay so that one is done so if you go to the customer uh, uh, center for that customer you will see you know invoice it was for two hundred dollars and they paid it so there is no balance open uh, so whenever you bill the final one eight hundred then you'll see open balance of course open invoice so at this time uh, there's no balance due because you have an invoice for eight hundred dollars because you haven't done the job yet okay so now if you if you are connected to your bank account you come here transaction and banking right and uh, checking account so here's a two hundred dollar match you just match it and it's done okay so now you're ready to uh, bill eight hundred dollars same customer you can do it from here or uh, directly from your customer center right right here see new transaction invoice so now let's say this is for service type of, uh, item. So now you're gonna build charge total bill total uh, your job is 800 and less your deposit deposit right. So it's negative 200 dollars. So now you have a uh, uh, 800 dollars invoice open invoice once the job is done. So I'm just going to save this. Okay. So now if you go back to in here, you have $800 open. Okay. So what happens to this $200? You need to go to your uh, deposit account and see how it's handling it. This one, you register. So as you can see here, uh, this is your uh, original deposit. And then you... Uh, once the job is done, you subtracted that $200. So the balance is zero in this account. So you have to maintain this, uh, reconcile this account on a regular basis. Uh, you may have uh, you know, all kinds of deposits coming in from all kinds of customers. So I'm gonna show you uh, how to reconcile this account. Uh, so let's say uh, you have another job and this time you're gonna bill $55 per deposit. Let's say this is 10%. And uh, Diego, that's the customer. So deposit. And let's say this amount is $55. Right? Okay. And now, uh, so let's say we're going to invoice this. Save this. Let's say I want to do September 1. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna save this, and let's say you receive payment. Right, send fifty-five dollars, and you can write, you know, a note if you want. Okay, so now, same thing. If you go to your banking center, you know, you you see match again, fifty-five dollar match, right? Now let's go back to the chart of accounts and see the liability register for the deposit. So this is the important one. So right here, fifty-five dollars still outstanding. You haven't uh, uh, sent out the final billing yet. Okay, so so this think about this. This is as your bank account, but you don't maintain any money, zero balance all the time. And whenever you write check, you just deposit uh, money for the same amount. So always zero amount. Let's say. So ending balance, let's say August 31st, so zero, right? Always zero, like this. Okay, so now as you can see here, you invoice for uh, $200 and then job is done, it clear, right? Okay, so in and out. So you'll see a whole bunch of, uh, you know, uh, deposits and charges on the left side. 
So you just have to check which one is which. Like this is Duke, and this one is Duke, right? So you just have to match it. And now the deposit, the, the difference is zero. Just finish it. Okay, so now you go back to chart of accounts again. And here's the customer deposit view register. So as you can see here, in here, you'll see R in here. So that means reconcile in and out, in and out. That means it's clear, in and out. And this one, it's blank in here. There's no R or anything. It's blank. So that means it's still outstanding. And uh, if you just want to search from here, there's a filter in here. Let's say you want to see uh, reconcile all reconcile ones. So you know right here in and out that means both reconcile zero. And uh, you know in your case you'll have a whole bunch of transactions not just these two. So this is uh, and let's say you want to see the outstanding ones. So it'd be uh, no status right here the fifty five dollar one right. So that one way. And if you let's, let's say you want to see it by uh, customer or pay, in this case they say pay. Let's select the pay in here. Underneath you'll see customer. So the uh, Duke's basketball camp. Right here. So you have all the transactions in here. In and out deposit. And then it clear uh, once the final billing is done. Right. So same thing with the other customer. Diego. Right here, stop. You know, this is just a deposit and uh, it's not clear. Even. So it's pretty straightforward. You know, if you just follow the uh, step by step instructions I gave you, then you should be fine. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, always visit our website, it's newkeyviewer.com. That's our website. Thank you. Bye.